And if you don't already recognize this because you're not over 55 or 60 years old, this is a replica of Nick Barkley's gun belt from the Big Valley. I had a gentleman email me and then we talked on the phone about the fact that he wanted uh, this, this gun belt replicated and I watched a lot of Big Valley episodes on YouTube to come up with this gun belt because I had to figure out how it was made. And some of the history on it goes like this. Peter Breck was in a, uh, I don't know if it was a, a series, but he filmed a television show called The Black Saddle. There might have been a couple of episodes of it. And there's a picture of him with the woman who was in it with him and a horse um, that you can Google and you'll catch it uh, wearing a gun belt like this with a long drop on it from here to here. But there was a sew line across here. So they had made it up from parts. And also he had a 7 inch SAA that was sticking out the bottom of the holster. So it may have come from a prop house. I don't know. It was very low budget uh, show for sure. So when he came on to the Big Valley season one, he was wearing that gun belt. And you can see it very easily and distinguish it between the second season and beyond because the buckle on that gun belt was rectangular. And then in the second uh, season and beyond, um, the man who made this gun belt, or just like this one, was probably Andy Anderson working out of the Ojalo shop in Hollywood. And he put uh, this type of a gun belt on it, kind of like a harness uh, uh, buckle, you know, that's oval, not clip cornered like the ones I usually put on. And I was kind of lucky and I found this gun, this uh, buckle, so I was able to put it on here. Now, one of the things that's different about that gun belt from the second season on was that there was some latigo that was coming through the middle of the holster strap tied up in a tassel. But the gentleman who ordered this for me wanted a plain holster strap, so that's what he got. And something else about the drop on this, which might interest you, and if you've watched um, a lot of Big Valley and you can still watch it on YouTube like I did while I was researching this, is that the drop approximately from here down to the bottom was 15 inches. So because when I looked at proportions and saw where the butt of the gun was and scaled it out with the bullets, I could see that it was around a two and a half inch wide gun belt, possibly two and three quarters, and that's what this is. This is two and a half. So if you take your measurements, that's what you get, 15 inches. It did not have a, a fast draw cut down. And when I got to look at one, one or two episodes um, called The Run of the Cat, I believe it was second season, might have been third, um, Barkley got uh, attacked by mountain lion or whatever. And he was out with uh, Purnell Roberts, who was playing the uh, tracker for the cat. And there's a close-up of him when the cat growls at night. And he pulls the gun out of the holster. I got a really good look at this area in through here. This is four layers of leather. And if you've noticed here, this back flap just kind of blends in and comes up into the belt on both sides and there was no sew line through here. So this wound up being four layers of leather. And this belt is 5 16th of an inch thick. Now I put a lot of needs foot oil on in this leather when I made it so it would bend because I didn't want it to be too mushy or too thin or too light. So this is where I wound up with it. So it's got 1845 caliber bullet loops on it. The holster is set for a five and a half inch gun, even though mine's a four and three quarters, a Uberti clone, and it just drops right in. So there you have it, except to show you for the back, there's no, there was no suede lining of any kind. You know, there were no suede lined uh, gun belts in the Hollywood Westerns. Let me open this up a little bit. 
I don't want to knock anything over because it's still very stiff. But see, this is just, I shoe polish this side of it so it would not bleed any dye out. But he wanted a plain um, look about it, so I didn't put any of my neutral Kiwi Wax shoe polish on the front surfaces. And I put his initials on it, which are DC right there. So there you have it. Let me bring it back because it's still pretty stiff regardless. And there it is, Nick Barkley's gun belt. If you were a kid looking at it like I was and you were trying to figure out how it was made, that's how it was made. Probably by Andy Anderson. So thanks for watching and we're going to carry on and make more gun belts. So thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye bye for now.